Hey there. So, um, let's see. This is the workshop where I build all the chicken coops. I got a pile of lumber over here. Things get a little messy sometimes in between builds. I just got uh, through building a few coops, and this is this is one that's ready to go, and I'm getting ready to load it on the trailer. Um, so when I deliver them to local people, uh, I bolt on these temporary wheels. So sometimes you'll see uh, you'll see these pictures with uh, the coops on my website with the wheels on them. That's because I take pictures of them right before they're ready to go. Um, I don't hold on to them for too long. So let's go over features of the coop. As we look at the outside here, you'll you'll totally see that it's got a metal roof. Um, it's got standard T111 siding on it, uh, you know, standard uh, shed siding that, you, you, that you'll find. Uh, makes it really easy to uh, paint it, to prime it, paint it, stain it, whatever you'd like to do. I do um, some nice little trim that kind of cleans up the edges and everything. Um, <clears throat> I end up putting on nice heavy duty hinges on, on the doors and, um, and these gate latches, which the gate latch combined with a little carabiner makes it... Um, makes it raccoon proof so uh, so let's see as, as we go through things i want you to notice that little ridge vent at the top Woo, windy 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 <laughs> let's go in the coop where it's, where it's less windy okay all right so first thing you'll notice in the coop is that we've got a little nest box on the left got another little nest box on the right underneath each nest box is a little hook and another little hook one is for um, one is for feed. One is for water. What's really nice about that is, as the chickens, doo -doo 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 -doo, let's get that. Get a little ladder up here. As the chickens use a little ladder crawl on up here, um, I, I'd say you know if this is a permanent situation, you could stick a screw right in here and, per and permanently mount it. But these these nest boxes also do come out for cleaning. Um, <laughs> this particular one doesn't because the customer wanted them just tacked right in. Um, so, but anyway, um, the nest boxes uh, provide a nice little area. You'll notice that right here is where fresh air is going to be coming in and, and hot air escapes out the top. So there's going to be a, a good amount of gas exchange. A, a convection current ends up forming in here, but it's, it's just enough that in the winter months, it's not going to be bringing in too much cold air, but it is going to wick away their, their, um, the condensation from their, um, from their breathing. Um, in the winter and so you won't get condensation forming on their back. You've got about 10 feet of, even though this is a four by six coop, you know, I don't go all the way to the edge. Um, you know, you got about 10 feet, five feet and five feet of roost space. That means that this coop is pretty good for about, up to about 10 hens. I rate it for six to nine as ideal. You could totally squeeze a 10th in here and if you got bantams, you could fit, fit more. Um, but, you know, not to say that other, other, you know, hens won't find a place to roost right there or in the nest boxes at night. Of course, if you, especially if you've got one that's broody. Now, um, why are there only two nest boxes and we've got like maybe 10 birds in here? Well, you'll find with well, the backyard chicken keeper is that the majority of your chickens lay eggs in only one nest box. Um, so you'd end up putting fresh hay or straw or shavings up here and they'll make a nest up here. You also have hay or shavings or straw on the bottom on the floor. Um, and then, you know, you know, some of this will end up kind of falling on the floor and you'll just add new stuff on top. Um, you'll always have your cleanest stuff right up here to keep your eggs nice and clean and give them a place to, to do their natural behaviors of nesting. Um, so again, you got a nice big people door here. You can see I could stick my whole body in there. Um, it's nice and secure. Again, this is how I latch it up at the end, put that little carabiner on there. It's got a nice two foot tall stand. And what that does is it brings everything up to a working height. The, so you're not doing a lot of bending. Now, what is this door? This one is an optional little door that I build on here for cleanouts. Let's say that you, you're, all your foot traffic is here, you know, coming in and maintaining the, the coop. Well, what you can do is off to the side over here, you can clean out, put a, put a rake all the way in there and scoop out all your litter, you know, once a week, once a month, once a year. <laughs> How often? you choose to do it you know it's typically recommended that you do it about once a year as we scoot, scoot onto the other side of the of this you'll see this is how the chickens get in and out you got a small little chicken door why is it small well it, it's small because what you could do is you could take that off permanently just take the screws off and as long as your run is fenced in well and it's that's predator proof then you don't need to close this every day but i do put make it so that you can open it you can close it you can lock it um, and you can use the second little ladder here for them to come in and out of their, of their run. 
So that's just kind of going over the, all the features of it. But what you're hearing me say is that I would suggest that you build a very secure run and that you could then even take that door off. Now, again, why is it small? It's just as big as it needs to be, even for a big old Australop hen. Um, she can squeeze through there. Her feathers will bend. She doesn't need a lot of room. She's a lot of fluff. Um, so the, those doors, that the jackets, it allows for, if you do take it off, that it's not going to be crazy breezy inside. It's not going to have too much. So again, this the coop style here is called the cape. Um, you know, I'm not going to put a price on it right now because I'd like to be able to use this video into the future. And if we got inflation happening, I'd like to be able to, uh, <laughs> to, to price it at the appropriate price so I could make a profit on it. Um, yeah, yeah, it, it, it's one of those things. Once I pop the wheels on there, it makes it pretty easy to, uh, to deliver and set it up at your house. All right. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.